Yes. Once you mass your magnesium, you have little pieces of magnesium sitting around. You're going to kind of fold it up a little bit. And then take your copper wire, and you want to make like a little cage for it. You don't want it to float away. You'll see why here in a second. Can I maybe zoom in? It's just, it's just it's start over it's the trailer. Uh, it's kind of <laughs> Where did it go? Yeah, it's two fucking axles. <laughs> Twelve thousand pound axles. <laughs> but they run on both of them. Um. Apparently, this is harder than it was. You might want to fold the piece of. This trailer. Copper around, yeah, copper around it. Okay, what do you mean? Okay. Alright, you guys are going to have questions in a minute. It's going to really irritate me. So, the hard part is getting the wonderful little cage into your magnesium so that it doesn't disappear. You just kind of wrap it around a little bit. There's no way it's coming off. Yeah, you just don't want it to come off. Because if it comes off, it won't be in the acid anymore, and it won't react. Yeah, that's depressing. Kind of defeat the whole purpose. All right, so here we've got a cute little cage for our magnesium. Okay. So you just put it in there. The copper will not react with the hydrochloric acid, but the magnesium will. So it will react within its, its little cage. And then you have a stopper, and you're going to just kind of bend it a little bit so that you have so it'll float. Okay. So that's part one. Yeah. <clears throat> and this graduated cylinder, graduated test tube is actually what it is. Um, you're going to add about 10 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be exact. But if you'll notice, these are upside down. Okay. Oh, shoot. Um, actually, let's put water in there. Drop it. <laughs> oh, I don't think I can get it under the. This one I can get under. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right. You got to use force. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh my goodness! Back somebody back get a beaker. <laughs> Come on, Tanner. I didn't want to break it. I think it fits under other ones, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Sometimes. And they're good. Rip it out. Um, <laughs> I'll go try it out. Is that one shorter? Yep. Oh, got it. I got oh. it. Who <laughs> knew? To the rescue. Okay. Yay, good job. All right. Uh, a little bit. Okay. Let's try this again. We'll just use this one. Okay, that one you're going to need it. That's glass, by the way. Be careful. So drop it. Tens of by the way. No, um, really Alright, so yeah. this is our six molar hydrochloric acid. And you're just going to add it. Is that pungent? It is very pungent. It's about 10 milliliters. That's all. That looks like a lot. <laughs> well, it's a very skinny. Okay. Alright, so we've got our acid in there. You want to very carefully add your water. So you want to kind of tilt it a little bit and just let it very gently run down the side. If you look at that, you can see where it's mixing a little bit. Yeah. You don't really want it to mix. <laughs> you want the hydrochloric acid on the bottom. What is the molar mass of water? Um, it's white up. I don't know, but it's steaming up. The <laughs> it's like 17, I think. 31. 18. That's a little 18. worrisome. What's the molar mass of hydrochloric acid? Five. Six. Well, it's chlorine. Uh, <laughs> It's like 37. Okay. 37. So it's a lot heavier. It is a lot heavier. So what we're doing is we're layering it, layering it with that density. Question: Is that hot? Because it was. It's not hot. Well, it is a little warm. Um, anytime you add water to acid, it'll give off a little bit of heat. So we have water up here. Um, you can't really see it now. You can see it more when it was was coming in. But here we have our hydrochloric acid. So we're going to add, cage was almost too big, we're going to add that in there, okay? And then we're just going to tip it over. And what's going to happen? Oh, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. All right, so what we're looking at is we're looking at that density difference. So it's heavier, so it's going to sink down to the bottom, where our magnesium happens to be. So right now, so we just have to wait for the... And you just wait. Why would you put it in water? 
Why do we put it in water? Gas. Gas. What would happen if we filled all of that with hydrochloric acid and tipped it over? It'd be hydrochloric. Well, it would not be good. That was a lot of acid. First off, we would have too much hydrochloric acid. And then we would also just go burn our fingers and... and no, we, we don't want that. Just like there's no... Uh, not, uh, <laughs> <laughs> sodium. sodium? That's what I tried to say. I couldn't, I couldn't I get it. You can really see it moving in. <laughs> this is why you have the little... Uh, <laughs> thing. I can't see a thing. <laughs> oh, no. No better. <laughs> And then we just kind of wait. It'll start bubbling. Oh, there it goes. And it'll start bubbling once it starts reacting. How long do you have to hold it there? Until it stops bubbling. No. It's a long time. Sammy, you can switch on you, you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> we can get one of those things that has a clamp on it. We can put it right there. I'm holding you know, the chemicals. You can't really hold the tube. this will overflow for this one. Ooh. We're losing our data. Yeah, yeah. We're not losing data. Yeah, so this works better than a battery does. It's separating the hydrogen stuff. Well, what we're doing is we're reacting that magnesium with the hydrochloric acid, and so that's where that hydrogen is coming from. Kayla, I can see the glare of your orange shirt in that little tubey thing. And I was like, huh? I'm sorry, Mikaela. Does he want to record me beating up Dakota? <laughs> I will. Can we film uh, Michaela beating him up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold this. I'll watch too. Okay. So. Oh man, we have to wait for that thing to get all the way to the bottom. <laughs> we do. That's a I long time. It's not going to go all the way to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> so, once we get the bubbles. <laughs> bubbles. So, we should have a good day going. Oh, a fun day. Well, it's it's a good day. day. <laughs> <laughs> They're making the clouds are all. I know. We are so excited. We are so excited. We are so excited. We're going to have a party. It's uh, a date. It's the year you graduate. <laughs> 2015. Yeah, I don't graduate. Not not you might. Hey. Okay. Oh, that may be a good time. Well, hopefully. 2020, well, I graduate. Sure, you and your bubbles. Yeah, the water's going to overflow. Why does it keep getting right like, now, higher? Right now. Because we're taking now. the water from here, we're displacing it. When the gas forms, it pushes the water out the bottom. Ms. Schroeder, are you going to dump that? Nah. <laughs> I'll just make as big a mess as it's. <laughs> it's just water. We're good. You want some paper towel? <laughs> so what happens to the, uh, the acid? It reacts. That's it. Mm -hmm. So this water is actually without like burning. She told me to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would think so. Oh, yeah. oh wait, no. It's happened. She might be used. It has happened. Be careful. All right. So I think we're done. You'll just kind of look and see. Once it stops bubbling, you're good. What it is about? Yeah. What you want to do to read this? Now, what do you notice if you take this and and move it? What happens to the volume of your gas? I don't know. Does it go down? It goes down. down. It changes. Yeah. Okay. So why? It's the pressure of water compared to the pressure of the room. Right. You have a certain pressure of water in here, and you have a certain pressure you of water in here. You want to pull it all the way out. So when you, yeah, you don't pull it all the way out. When you move it up and down, that changes. The pressure of this changes. So when you read your volume of your gas, you want this level of water equal to this level of water. So you're going to move it down until that's equal. So here inside is equal to outside. Then you read your volume. How are you okay? How do you read that through you that? Take off your yeah. goggles and look at it. Well, and it's right here. Yeah, you can take your goggles off to do this. It's right here. Oh, yeah. You can see it over the top. Um, this is where if you have a little bit more, and actually you could add more water in there if you wanted to. Um, so you want the same numbers? All right, now one thing to keep in mind is that these go down. So here's <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. So you're reading it a little bit backwards. So pay attention to where those numbers are. 
It is marked in tenths of a milliliter. So what are we going to measure it in? What are we going to estimate to? Tenth. We know the tenths. We'll be able to know the tenths. What are we going to estimate? Ten hundredths. Okay, so you should have a hundredth of a milliliter. Guess. Okay, so you're going to estimate to the hundredths. All right? Yes. So there's more bubbles than what? Well, how do we go about doing that with that? That's just for this. Wait, can you see if that opened the bus? All right. Uh, it would. Actually, it would. Yeah. One match. Just one. Wow. Um. Wait, before we do all this, we mess up the strip. Yes.